Very negative. <laughs> <laughs> Have you have you uh, done this show before? Or? I have. I'm actually oh, in town yeah. from LA. So oh, cool. yeah. oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. My brother lives up. Bridget Tano. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We enjoyed everyone. Thank you for coming out to our last fall comedy show. Uh, we do this show multiple times a week. Come out here to try to get everyone. Uh, have a good time together. You know, it's nice. Yeah. I uh, thanks for sticking around. Thank you so much. I I will uh, I'll tell you about myself. Uh, right off the bat, I'm Hispanic, and I don't look it. I get really upset when people assume I'm white, and it's not a culture thing. It's a height thing. I'm a short white boy, but I am a tall Latino man. <laughs> Five seven is a thug in my culture. Uh, <laughs> I had to move back home with my mom because of the pandemic, and maybe like eight years before that. Anyway, so, <laughs> keep that to myself. Oh boy. Uh, I did. A lot of my white friends think I'm a loser because I moved back home, but my black and Latino friends also think that. And, you know, it's ridiculous. I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that sucks. I have a, I have a weird, thank you for coming. Thank you. Are you guys folks family, or what? What's happening? Nice. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. I just like to thank everyone. You know, it's a very nice thing to come up. What do you do for work, sir? I'm asking. Um, I work for a radiation oncology company. Oh wow! Holy shit! Okay. Do you cure? What does that mean? I don't know. Do you go to college? I yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, so I can't apply then. Yeah. <laughs> All these goddamn barriers to the working class, man. I, I worked 17 years with Xerox. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that's, been, that's pretty dope, you know? Nice. What are, okay, what are you? Is that something better than him? Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a director in a company that does clinical trials. Oh, fuck this guy. Yeah. <laughs> do shit now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. clinical trials, people are living, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> what is it like PP ones or what? What is it? No, the five Oh, that's pretty dope. So you're the one putting microchips in us. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, relax. Relax. Everyone calm down. I just don't want someone to get really like, Yeah, speak up, brother! Oh, <laughs> make a joke about the vaccine and someone's going to give me a pamphlet later. Like, this is, we meet on Tuesday. Like, what? What is it? Hey, okay, that your, is that your family right here? Or what's the deal here? Yeah. Okay, nice. Let me try that. Okay, there we go. What are you supposed to do with this? Oh, it's the mic. Damn it! You can leave, man! Get out of here! This is a good crowd. Eric Burnett, very tall guy, Eric. He is tall? What? Is he tall? No, oh my god, no, we don't come in that size. Are you serious? <laughs> Bro, I don't think I've met a Spanish guy over 5'10. Are you like, know what that deal is? I. I. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, oh yeah, how tall are you, Bro? 5'11. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. That guy's gonna fuck me up. 5'10 wow. <laughs> well, Ah! Uh, no, uh, He's Mexican in his act out. Right. Where are you from? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, it's one of those, like, my mom, bit of a whore. You know, she just gets out of here. So, so, I don't know, man. Everyone gets pregnant. Everyone gets pregnant. My mom does this a lot, too. It's all right. I'm okay with that. Let her go. You know, I'm a feminist. And she that. Thank you. Go ahead, mom. Talk about whatever you want. <laughs> Here's like a jokey joke. Here's like a jokey joke. I always get weird when I see women breastfeed uh, because I never know where to point my camera. Uh. <laughs> so sorry. It's a jokey joke. So sorry. Are you guys okay? I'm, I'm like, I can't. Should I do raunchy sex stuff? Or? Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do it. Everyone go fast. All right. Uh, my girlfriend is very sweet, she's 18, and normally I never date anyone that young, except she said yes. 
And as a joke, I'm alone. Ah! I like that joke because for like a minute, you really hate me. Because <laughs> I look like someone that would date an 18 year old, which is fucked up. I have a creepy face. I know that. I know I look creepy because I've never been asked to babysit. Isn't that? That's like a red flag. Now, one, dude, I got 50 cousins. Now, one of them trusts me with their baby. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to do this, uh, this joke I want. This is a new joke I have. Uh, when I have, I have a lot of debt. You know, do you have debt? Do you have a lot of debt? No? Okay, that's fair. I have a lot of, I have a lot of debt. They, a lot of people, when they tell me I'll amount to nothing, I actually take it as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the room is wrong. Okay? <laughs> The room could be missed. Uh, <laughs> thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Watch back. Hell yes. Huh? Speak up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Speak up. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna do one raunchy joke. Is that gonna be weird as a family? Have you guys ever had like a movie come on with a sex scene and you guys in the same room or what? Never. Oh, that's not real family. <laughs> yeah, now one, come on. Bro. Come on, call me jerking off. Are you serious? She just looked down and she was like, finish up and come back to dinner. <laughs> I'd say masturbation works. All right, uh, you guys on the I'd say masturbation Oh, fuck, I love it. Isn't that weird, man, that when we were masturbating at first when you were kids, it was such a big deal. Like when you were 14, you stopped it all day. You, made a thing out of it. But now, as an adult, I do it during work. Isn't that crazy? What? Oh, uh, what? Okay. Well, I gotta be careful. Too many. I'm so sorry. I, don't know. I do have. I do have a girlfriend for real. I, I do. And she's like a normal age woman. She's 30. She's alive. Yeah. <laughs> she's very sweet. We were having. We were having sex one night, and she said to me, "Come wherever you want. Come wherever." And I thought it'd be a great opportunity to come on her lamp. Right? Yes. See, okay, it is silly. It is. She did not think it was funny at all. She got so mad at me. Let me tell you something. I thought I knew women, but they hate come on their stuff. Uh, I'm All right, well. That usually works real well. And, this is, okay, this is, I'm the host. I, thank you so much, family. Uh, I can feel like, I'm going to anchor radiating from them. Like, I'm not here. I'm ruining your q on me. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm just joshing it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can see everyone here, so it's not like where you sat either. So. I, okay, so uh, this is the way it works. I'm the host, so I try to live it and stop you know, give us a little energy. What I need from everyone here, right? Every comedian is going to be fantastic, but they need you to give all the energy you have. Are you ready? Yeah! I'm going to bring him right up here. Hails all the way from uh, Michigan. This is a very funny man, Mr. Colin Paul. 